Give me kisses. He knows. He's like, Mom, I know. <laughs> Give me kisses. Cool. Are you shy? <laughs> Is that a hiccup? No, that was us. Oh, let's go. Oh, I'm here. Hold on, keep doing it. Oh, keep doing it. Oh, keep doing it. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that's what Sam the Goose makes. <laughs> And Hannah, we are on our way and we will be there okay. in about 10 minutes. Okay, sounds great. Cool. See you soon. We're gonna go meet Tabitha of Floral Ingredients. One of the first styled shoots that I did here in Garrett County with the White Barn at Lucas Farm. Uh, Tabitha created our florals. So she is a floral designer, but what's especially unique about her is that she does faux florals. And let me tell you, when she posts pictures of these faux florals, they look real. <laughs> they are high quality faux florals, but she is uh, tapping into kind of the fresh floral um, market. So I wanna ask her about that and how she's going to incorporate live flowers. And she obviously does a lot of things for weddings, um, but this year she just started offering personal holiday decorating. So if you wanted her to come into your house and decorate your house for the holidays, you could pay her to do that. She's been posting pictures of her own house for the past few weeks and how she's been decorating for Christmas and it looks so cute. <laughs> so I made sure I wore Christmas gear today to fit in with her house, but I'm excited to see how she's decorated. I feel like my house is going to feel inadequate after we see what she's done. <laughs> Go to meet Tabitha. Look how cute her front porch is. This is cute. These were passed on to her from my great grandma and she used them and then I went through them this year and the trees are actually from from then as well. So they're old too? Yes. How old are they? Gosh, I don't know. I was telling everybody on the vlog before yeah. we got here that you used to be Flora Mae Rose and yes. now you're Floral Ingredients. Yes. And you've been doing floral design for how long? Kind of as a hobby before I got married, yeah. but then when I got married, I kind of had a bad experience with my own florals. Oh. I didn't want that to happen to anybody else, so that's why I chose to start in faux, was okay. because brides could see what they were getting before the day, so there was no unwanted surprises. True. And my goal was to make things look realistic. The downside is that faux is way more expensive than real. Sure. But it, you can keep it forever. Right. That's so, wait a minute. Faux is more expensive than real. Yes. Well, there's a myth busted. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. just because of the materials, I'm sure. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have to imagine that a lot of brides think, oh, faux, mm -hmm. it's gonna be way cheaper yes. than real flowers. I actually get inquiries all the time of people saying, I want this, and they find out that it's faux, and they're like, oh, I want real. Oh. Oh. And, but they don't know from what they see that they're right. not real. And right. sometimes that wins them over. And they're yeah. like, okay, I don't care. And then other times I would know I have to have fresh. Yeah. So you are doing a little bit of a switch yeah. into the real I'm expanding flowers. a little bit, okay. but there's a little bit of a twist on it. The goal for this coming year, there's going to be a lot of new things coming up this year. But we bought this house and there's a lilac tree in the backyard. Okay. okay. It's a light purple lilac tree. Okay. We're going to be planting a dark purple lilac tree and a white lilac tree. So every fresh flower is going to be grown here. Okay. But this means that there is going to be kind of restrictions on when you can get this flower. So hopefully, I know that brides usually, you book your venue, you book your photographer, yeah. and flowers kind of come down right. like the last part of the list, but if you're wanting a certain flower, they should come to me first okay. so that they can know when that flower is going to be And bloom, right. And we're going to have a peony patch back there. Oh, okay. 
Um, and I also have incredible hydrangeas. They're this mm -hmm. big. Mm -hmm. So I have two bushes of that in white, two bushes of that in pink, and I'm getting ready to plant limelight hydrangeas this oh. year, which are more cone shaped instead of round shaped, and they're green. As far as Christmas, Next year, I'll be releasing more types of garlands and wreaths, uh -huh. and we'll be planting um, holly berry bushes oh, okay. around the entire um, porch. The porch. Can I just say that when people talk about flowers and their names, they just it just you sound really smart. It's science. <laughs> All right, so these are the ceramics that inspired your current Christmas decor. So these are actually banks. Oh, they're banks. Yeah. Oh, it has a date down here. It says 1987. And it was in Addison, PA. Which is like a half an hour from here. Yes. How about the headboard? That looks a little bit homemade. Yes. So the headboard was from an original door off of this house. Tabitha is such a cute, sweet person. She is very easy to hang out with, very easy to talk to, and she's super talented when it comes to florals and being detail oriented and decorating. And I'm very excited to see about her future with her business and to see just what else she does for weddings in Garrett County. Tabitha definitely comes highly recommended by me for any of your floral needs and I just can't thank her enough for welcoming us into her super cute home. It kind of makes me want to go back to Christmas time. I hope you all enjoyed Tabitha and her decorations and her florals and her dogs. <laughs>